Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a video different than any video that I've ever done before. I'm going to show you what I keep in my Bible um, cover, my Bible bag, and in my uh, Bible study notebook. So, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. This is my Bible bag. Um, here, let me take my notebook out from under it. I got this Bible bag in Gatlinburg on my honeymoon. My husband bought it for me. I know you're horribly surprised that it's owls, right? Um, but I loved everything about this Bible bag. So, anyways, um, <laughs> when you unzip, there's a pocket on the front and I keep a few different things in here. So one is a hole puncher and this is basically for my notebook, which I'll show you in a little bit. So that's why I keep that in there. And then I keep a pencil sharpener. This is just a really, I think I paid 39 cents for this pencil sharpener at Walgreens. I empty it out every once in a while. Um, you know, just whenever it needs it, which it probably does now. Then I also just keep this little notebook just in case I need a piece of paper. I need to jot something down real quick and I don't have my other notebook with me, um, you know, to write notes to my mom or something like that, something that doesn't belong in my Bible notebook maybe, or my Bible study notebook, so that's why I keep that in there. And then um, I keep colored pencils, and I like to keep these pretty sharp, which is also why I keep my pencil sharpener with me, so that these can stay pretty sharp, and I will show you why later. So all of this just tucks into this little pocket, and it doesn't, it's not like I'm really sorry that my child is like screaming in the background. Anyways, um, it doesn't get too bulky or anything like that, so I do really enjoy that. Um, then this just unzips all the way around, of course. Go ahead and unzip it. And then you open it up, and um, this is my Bible. It is engraved with my name. My husband got this for me. This was my wedding gift. Um, was to have a Bible with my name engraved on it. It is a King James Version Bible. I love the pattern on it. He picked this out all by himself. Like, I didn't have anything to do with this Bible, or with picking this Bible. He picked it all himself, um, and I do love it, and I obviously use it. Um, I was going to show you, let me flip through here real quick and find... Um, this is what I use my colored pencils for. I use them to highlight in my Bible. Regular highlighters are not good for it, and I haven't purchased, like, Bible highlighters yet. Um, I have, I do have them on my wish list, but I like, I like the colored pencils. Um, I also sometimes write, like, what date we studied certain scriptures on. Um, see, here's more. And I just reach in the pocket and grab whatever color I grab. It's not like, I just reach in and grab whatever color I grab. It's no big deal. It doesn't matter what color it is. There's not like, I don't use specific colors for specific things. I just kind of grab one. Um, I also will mark like large passages in ink pen. Um, you know, just if I feel like that's easier for that day. I do lots of different markings. Um, I like this Bible bag. It has a, um, a pay, what am I trying to say? A bookmark in it. Golly, Casey. Can't even think. Um, it has a bookmark in it, so I can use, sorry, I can use that, um, if I need to, but yeah, see, like, this is all just, it just is what it is. I just pick random colors. So my Bible is crazy color colored. Um, and that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I think that if you don't mark stuff in your Bible and you don't use it, like I used to think you shouldn't write in a Bible, but you so should. You should use it. You should mark it. Um, yeah. You just should. You should just use it, okay? So back behind here, there's a pocket, and I keep a few things in here. Um, let me turn this over. I keep a couple of these. These are guest comment cards. Um, if you have a prayer request, you can put them 
in and so I just have a couple of these that I save in my Bible I also just have another little notebook back here that's the one I used to take notes in until I got my Bible um, study notebook this is a prayer journal again it's the same kind of thing I used to just take notes in this I still keep it in here in case I forget my Bible study notebook. I'm not going to forget my Bible for church, but I might forget my Bible study notebook for church. So I do like to have these in here because I can write down my prayers in here and my notes in the other one. And that's that all works. I also keep tissues in here. Sometimes I get emotional during church, okay? I hope I'm not the only one. It happens. And then these are a couple more bookmarks that I received from church that I keep tucked in here. Um, I keep bulletins tucked in here. Typically, I do have all mine cleaned out right now, but I keep them tucked in here if my Bible study notebook is too full or if I haven't had time to punch holes in them, I'll keep them in here for a little while. So, that is everything I keep in my Bible bag. Then, 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 I have a huge mess on my desk. I'm trying to like jumble around it. This is my Bible study notebook. This notebook I got from... Target. I got it on clearance, but you can get any size. Uh, I mean, not any size. You can get them like you can get them plain too. This is a plain one that I have. It's a um, one inch. I'm trying to see. Why don't they say the size on them? I don't know. It's a one inch wide binder. But um, yeah. So that's. <laughs> I have a plain one that I keep my um, bulletins in after I've done extra Bible study on them. These stickers that are on here, I don't remember where I got them. It was either Target or Dollar Tree or something like this. It came in this set. Um, it's called Recollections. It might have been um, Michael's. I don't really know. But anyways, so I stuck one on the cover here. And this is a tattoo that I'm planning on getting on my wrist. It's a semicolon, an arrow, an anchor, and a cross. They're symbols that mean a lot to me. So I put them on the front here. Then you open them and I bought the um, page, not the page protectors. I say that every time. The dividers from the same, like, the, in the same size with the binder. Um, these are from Avery and I put that same sticker on the front. The first section is my prayer list section and so you open it up and these are prayer cards. Um, hold on. Yes. What? You know what? What? Um, I'm trying to get the game beaten, but I keep dying. Oh no. I don't know how to play that game, so I can't help you. I know. I love you. I love you too. I'm like a stripper. You keep trying to beat it. Well, I don't want to play anymore. Okay. I'm not turning the TV on though, so... Anyway, these are prayer cards um, from the North American Mission Board, and so they're just, they've got different people on them from different churches, so I pray for those. Um, this is the one prayer, five people, one year, five on the way card um, from GPS in Tennessee, so I have that in there, and then this is where I keep my prayer list. I don't have anything in here right now. Mostly because you guys don't need to see all my prayer lists. Um, but in church, like in Sunday school, we'll write down people that need to pray, be prayed for. Um, I'll see people on Facebook that I think or that ask for prayer and I'll jot that down. That way when I have my prayer time every day, I can pull this out and I can pray for those people. The next section is scriptures. Um, this is where I keep lists like this. So this one is a list of scripture that helps if you're suffering from grief and loss. Um, I have one for stress. I have one for healing and sickness. And then like just any time that I find a scripture that I like, I can jot it down here. I can do some like doodling, you know, stuff like that. 
then the next one is Bible study. So anytime I want to do any kind of Bible study or anything like that, this is where I put the notes for it. Um, I'll explain a little more when I get back to the, um, the bulletins how I do some of my Bible studies, um, but this is just where I keep Bible study notes. Then this is notes, so this is um, in Sunday school if I take notes, anything like that, that all goes in this section. I don't have any right now, but that all goes in this section. And bulletins, and I'm just flipping to the back because you guys don't need to see what church I go to or anything like that. Um, at our church, though, we, on the back of our bulletins, get notes, and it's an outline like this, which I really love. Um, and so you just kind of fill in, they tell you the words to fill in and all of that. They give you scriptures to go along with it. He, he works really hard on this, but what I do after is they all come into this binder and then I slowly do a Bible study to myself on each one. And I kind of read in more into the scriptures that he gives us, um, try to find more scripture. You know things like that and that's what is in my Bible study notes I also have books that I read that I use um, and I'll also just pick or see scriptures sometimes online that I'll pull and I'll do Bible study on that okay so that's everything that I keep in my Bible study notebook and my Bible bag I do keep an ink pen in my Bible bag that I think I forgot to mention um, I just use a big ink pen no big deal um, yeah, so that's everything. Let me know what you keep in your Bible study notebook. What does it look like? And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.